Hey Tech Talk viewers, this is the Chan Clan, and we have a new Samsung NVMe drive that we're going to install and take a look at its performance today. This is uh, the new PCIe 4.0 series of um, non-volatile memory storage from Samsung. So a lot of companies have uh, made these um, really fast drives and Samsung came out with a new iteration here of the 980 Pro to support the new PCIe 4.0 architecture. Now for you computer builders out there you guys may be familiar that AMD has been supporting PCIe uh, for many generations now and the newer boards uh, have this equipped. Unfortunately for Intel even though our current Z490 series of chipset uh, that supports my i9-10900K uh, CPU, does support it. The chipset for the CPU is still lagging behind, and it's PCIe 3.0, even though the motherboards have been built to the specs of uh, PCIe 4.0. It's not until um, Rocket Lake uh, will we see uh, the CPUs being enabled by Intel to support this chipset, um, and, or sorry, the design spec for PCIe 4.0. So we're going to still be bottlenecked by PCIe 3.0 specs currently in our Intel build, but nevertheless, I do have a 970 Evo that will put head-to-head -head in Samsung's own benchmarking tests uh, through Samsung Magician uh, that we can see the performance of the 980 Pro uh, compared to that. So speed these days is everything. Uh, the new next generation consoles boost super fast uh, uh, memory uh, so that uh, games can load almost instantly. Well, fortunately for us in the PC universe, this has been already available for quite some time with technology such as NVMe. It used to be everything was written to a hard drive and that took lots of time to actually write from the disk and load up your programs. SSDs or solid state devices came next and those were an order of magnitude faster but the fastest in data transfer and storage are these non-volatile uh, memory drives or these NVMe drives and they're tiny. So this is a 500 gigabyte drive but you can see that it is almost smaller than a stick of RAM. So this is the, N, uh, the 980 Pro, and uh, this is it. I mean, this is what comes in the package, which is a tiny, look at that. Look how tiny and thin this is, wafer thin. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you how to install these. If you haven't before, it's pretty simple, but sometimes where you install this is hidden in your motherboard, and it's usually between those video slots or those PCIe slots, and what you're going to have to do is insert this at about a 45 degree angle and secure it down. So you're actually going to put it in and then push it down. And some fancier motherboards actually may have a heat sink over this, which ours does. So we'll have to remove the heat sink uh, to reveal the shroud uh, or remove that as a shroud place this in and then put the shroud or the heat sink back on and that just sits on top of these memory cells to diffuse any heat coming off of this. Um, some people like Western Digital build a heat sink onto that uh, but again with those uh, more advanced motherboards you're not going to need that separate heat sink uh, as many of them have pre-built them. Most motherboards support at least two or even three slots for these. I already have one of these in again the 970 in my build uh, but we'll go ahead and install this 980 just so that we can go head to head uh, and see how these perform. So let's jump into the case and see how this installs. Okay, so I've ripped open the case here and this is uh, a Tai Chi Z490 AS Rock motherboard. But uh, my M2 slots where these NVMEs are installed live underneath the graphics card. So I've had to remove my graphics card sitting up there from the main uh, PCIe slot here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this shroud over here because you'll see there's a screw over here and over here, that's where my current NVMe is, is, uh, card is. Uh, we'll put it under this one right here. And then there's also one more up there, but that one runs into the CPU fan here. So let me get this cover off and I'll show you how to install it. 
Okay, we have unshrouded this cover here and you can see how this metal bracket here actually acts as a heat sink to part of the chipset here. And you can see one of these M2 slots right here. There's another one right there, another one up underneath that one as well. And how these NVMe cards install uh, the 980 Pro here is that you insert this kind of at a 45 degree angle. It's almost like a hinge, okay? So you kind of slide it in there and make sure that tab right there lines up. It should be kind of uh, in line with the print here, so not upside down or backwards. And you push this down just right onto there. And it's kind of like a uh, spring uh, hinge there. So that's already installed. And in this case, uh, the screw to mount this plate actually goes straight in here and acts to secure this whole apparatus back on top. So this heat sink here will just go back over here. If we line up the screws together, we'll have, there we go, our screws hold together. We'll have this heat sink just sitting right on top of that 980 Pro uh, to help dissipate some of the heat. So we'll get this all screwed in, uh, put our video card back together, and let's jump into the software side of things to see how this uh, benchmarks against the 970 EVO Plus. All right, this is the final part of our review and demo. Uh, it's hard to demo how fast this drive is, but you can see that I have both of these installed in my system. Now, even as a system builder myself, I was unaware that if we use up two of these uh, NVMe's M2 slots that some of the PCIe bus uh, is dedicated to this and I lose some of my SATA. So uh, basically to translate that uh, I am using multiple hard drives as well and uh, I won't be able to keep this in the system side by side because I lose some of my hard drive connections. I thought I'd lost power, bumped a cable or whatnot and then I realized it was thanks to uh, using up these lanes. Well, um, Regardless, just as a side-by-side -side comparison, this is going to uh, make a good replacement to an SSD in another computer of mine. Um, this is going to allow for the system drive just to operate a lot faster. Now you can take a look here. Uh, the top uh, one here is my current system drive, which is a Samsung 970 EVO plus one terabyte, which is right here. And the other one is the newly installed Samsung SSD 980 Pro, and that's the 500 gig uh, model that we're doing or we're, that we're reviewing and installing uh, we ran benchmarks using Samsung Magician so this is first party software and you can just see the difference between the two read and write speeds look at that the sequential read and the sequential write of the 980 Pro is almost two times two times as fast as the 970 I'll probably clone my uh, SSD, my 970, onto the 980. We'll keep the 980 installed as a system drive, and we'll be able to use the 970 in a different drive uh, to accommodate uh, everybody else's fast gaming, fast programs, and fast load times. So this is a demonstration, um, installation, and benchmark of the new Samsung SSD 980 Pro. Uh, it's definitely faster, almost twice as fast as the 970. It's going to be able to improve your performance on your uh, program loads, your general operating system. Comes with a five-year warranty, runs just as cool, if not even a little bit cooler than the uh, 970 here you see in Samsung Magician. And this is a great piece of technology that eventually even will get faster as we migrate up to the PCIe 4 interface uh, that comes with the next chipset and next upgrade. Anyways, this is Dan, and this is the Chan Clan with a tech talk of the Samsung SSD 980 Pro. Uh, you can find this at retailers near you now. Thanks for watching and check out our other Tech Talk videos.